twee jaar. Ben je verder? What are you doing here? Ah, uh, James is sick. He sent the wife over to me for a couple of days. Is he bad? Bad chest in the port, the belly out, too. I'll give you a hand. Go no, try, no, Pete. No sense in spoiling the clothes. Are you sure? Yeah. You shouldn't have to do what you have. Enough of your own. No, it's slack enough at the moment. How was Eve? I'm quite well. Thank you. I brought Eve over to see the setup. I didn't think she'd be interested. Well, she asked if she could see it. Do you know what she's thinking of doing? Go on, Eve, tell him. You tell him. Either a degree in agriculture or veterinary medicine. She can't decide which. Over here, Eve. The idea is that the space between the slats is just wide enough to let the dung through. Here, look. That's the dung. That'll all pile up for about two years. Then we'll take it out and spread it as farmyard manure. Will it keep? Oh, it will. It matures, you see. Oh, like wine. Aye. It'll be about 250 here. Would you say that, Pat? Yeah, about that. Eh? I'll give yours in a few weathers. See, they're divided into sections of about 50 in each. That's to make sure that they all get that proper ration of feed. Do you have to bring water, too? Ah, no, that's automatic. Works on a ball cock. Oh, clever. Yeah, I thought that was good, all right. Well, Pat, how did you get over the Christmas? Not too bad. Dropped in to see you on Christmas morning, there wasn't a sign of you. Mustn't have been here. Yeah. I suppose you're at Mass. Listen, Pat, are you sure it's all right for you to be doing this? It isn't your job. It's only for a couple of days, till James gets used to the new year. He'll do the same for me someday. Fair enough. We're doing well. Are they all still on the mountain? Yeah, I'm going up on Friday to bring them down. Just as well. You'll have a bit of hay as well to start them off. Can I come? To the mountain? If I wouldn't be in the way. I think that's a great idea. Pat doesn't mind. No, uh, could be rough, though. We're in for a spot of bad weather. Mm, I don't mind. Right. You'll probably learn a lot more from Pat than you would from me. You're coming, love. Yeah. Uh, thanks again for the help out, Pat. Well, I have 30 of my own in there. I have to make sure they're fed. Yeah. Friday morning, 9 o'clock. I can't wait. You won't have to. You don't like him. How do you know? I know by you. You think he's rude. Well, now you mention it. Yeah, I thought that too at first. Real chip in the shoulder. He lets on to be tough, not to give a damn about people. There's a lot more to him than that. You have to get to know him. If you say so. Like what he's doing now. He doesn't have to do that. He lives a lonely old life, too. All right. I'll try and be nice to him. Will you, though? Seriously? Of course, Peter. I promise. We can up to spot him down there all the same. Hey, Scudder. Oh. We're nearly out of cement. Jeez. Hey, Malachy. There's the buggers off Dawson somewhere, huh? Uh, I'll get it myself. Would you, Miley? Sure, yeah, no bother. Where's the camp? Do you see up there? In the hut? Yeah. Well, what's it doing up there? Ah, Jesus, Miley. Don't you know cement's got to be kept off the ground? <laughs> Can we stop? No. I've got a stitch. We'll go away. Please?
rest for a minute. I've got a flask and some sandwiches. Over here. Well, there's all your sheep. No, half of them are Dinny bones. He's your friend. Well, more Miley than Dinny. Miley went off to England after the road, Dinny went off to look for him. Why do you bring them down now? Because this is the time. Why? Well, they get ready for lambing. When do they lamb? Beginning of April. It's a long time away. Well, you have to be careful of them. What could happen? Anything bad for us, no. What's all the questions for? I'm interested in things. Why are you looking at me like that? It's my way of telling you to get off me back. What do you mean? I mean, you can't cod me the way you cod poor old Pete. What on earth are you talking about? All that talk about the lambs, how they got the water. He likes me to take an interest. She couldn't care less. You know, a ball cock with a bull's foot. Of course, uh, once you get your degree, there'll be no holding you. I could do any of those things if I wanted to. Remember the last time you were up here? Yes. The time you were, uh, an architect? Yes. What were you really doing? I was driving by. I saw you from the road. Yeah? Well, it was just an impulse. Spur of the moment. You should be flattered. Do you like being up here with me? A whole mountain to ourselves. Yeah. I like it. Well, what about Peter? What about Peter? He knows we're here. We have the official sanction. I wonder what that covers. Hey, Miley, did you only get the one? I could only find the one. Ah, uh, not to worry, Miley. Here's Malachi now. <laughs> 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 Where do we go now? Don't know about you, but I'm going home. Sounds fine to me. We're getting dark soon.
Is, is that open to everyone? There's a waiting list. Well, it could be. It could have put me in the end on place. Uh, I sing right well. Do you hear me now? Oh, knock it off, Dad. <laughs> Where the gay honeysuckles are in the You sing in the back, don't you? <laughs> Give the boy a chance now. He's doing his best to sing. Give him a chance. Is this the manager? Are you the manager, are you? All right, well, I'm not the manager. I was just saying, like, you know, I could keep his lads. I was thinking, by the look of him, and by the smell of him, that he had to be the manager. <laughs> Listen, I was only just telling you to give the boy a chance. Well, you're telling us now, are you? Hear that, lads? This ignorant old yobbo coming straight off the bogs wearing nothing but the rags on his back. And now he's telling us how to conduct ourselves, huh? I came off no bog. I came off a good land, land that belongs to me. Yeah, sure you did, Paddy. And most of us still stuck to your boots. Just come here! I was only Where are you supposed to be tonight? Night classes. Archaeology. Today was very educational. Glad to hear. Should we go inside? For what? Tea? <laughs> All right. After that, you're going home. Of course. Speakeasy customers, it's never been easier to top up your Speakeasy phone. Because with our mobile top-up service, you can top up on your mobile no matter where you are. Speakeasy from ESAT Digiphone. Just top up and speak. Can I share soon? Yes. In a minute. Don't be surprised if you start showering more often. Because with the new Aquasoft formula from Nivea, your skin feels noticeably softer after every shower. Turn water into care with the new Aquasoft shower range from Nivea. Uh, room service. May we have more tiles, please? I couldn't believe my eyes. Greetings, Earthlings. What do you want, strange beings? We are Perso Capsules. We like to wash. Now that is weird. You're not from this planet, are you? Squashy liquid capsules get a whole wash clean and disappear without a trace. Bye-bye. Come back. There's more. New personal capsules. Take us to your laundry. Do you really think it'll look good? Oh, yeah. I think it'll look gorgeous on you. Here, pass me the label. There. Well, what do you think? Oh, wow, it's great. It really suits you. Coleman sauces are now McDonald's sauces. The only thing that's changed is the name. Does it make the back of my pack look big? Brian! I thought you were going out. But we have a video. Well, I'm watching <laughs> football. Do you want a cup of tea? I'd love a cup of tea. No. Is that right? I'm going to go down and watch it in the pub. See you later. Yeah. HB Selections, made to share. <laughs> I don't have a life. <laughs> Honest, it is. Hey, 
Grandpa, are you? Not a bad day. Fast grand now. Grand. No bills from you, home. No bills this time. Good man. Okay, cheers. Thanks, Jim. Bye bye. Manchester now, as you can see, and a right dirty kip it is too. I found a place Miley was working in London. And I got word he came here to a job, so I up and come after him like a fool. I never realized the size of the place. Indeed, there was a man stopping here in the hostel was telling me there was more people in this town than what's in the whole of Ireland. I've been walking round the roadworks, building sites for three weeks now, looking for Miley, but no luck so far. Some of them only laugh at you. More of them let on they know nothing, or they're on some sort of a fiddle, and they'll tell you nothing. The money's running short. There's not much work here. I got two days in an abattoir, and a few evenings scraping pots in a hostel. But I won't get rich in what they paid me. You know, Pat, you'd be amazed how few opportunities there are for sheep farmers in Manchester. The lads in the hostel here are all signing on the door. I suppose if I was planning to stay on a while, I'd swally me pride and take the Queen's shilling. But I hope with the help of God I'd catch up with Miley soon, and a pair of us will be on the next boat. You'd be sure and right and tell me all that's going on. And if you hear any word from Miley, and where under God he is, I know you'll tell me. I'd have to close now, Pat, and dry me clothes for the morning. Wouldn't it be great to have a woman all the same? All the best, didn't he? Surprised to see me? Yeah, you could say that. You pleased to see me? Yeah, you could say that too. How have you been? Fine. And uh, the sheep? Oh, yeah. It's also nice. Oil lamps, the kettle on the hob. Except that it's a cheat. Why? You've got electricity. Best thing ever happened to a small farmer was the rural electrification. Why doesn't it work? There was only one thing wrong with it. They wanted money for it. Well, you mean you haven't paid the bill? Well, I was waiting for the January sales. Well, never mind. I think this is much nicer. 
No. What's wrong? I've been walking all day. So it's relaxing time. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, you mean you smell? <laughs> Haven't you noticed? I smell worse. We go and have a wash then. You know hot water. Unless we boiled kettles and got you into one of those old zinc baths in front of the fire. Have you got one? No. You sit down and behave yourself. Are you afraid I'd seduce you? I wouldn't know what that meant. Who is it? It's Pete. <laughs> it's not. Get in there. Don't breathe. Isn't this terrific? Stay quiet. <clears throat> How are you, Pat? Uh, oh, you Peter. Oh, that's a cold one. Right, I'm really drawn in now. Saw you're yours on the way in. See, so you're giving them hay. Yeah, yeah. That'll do them for the present. We won't have meals from later on, though. Listen, I know you're stuck, but I've an idea I might be able to help. I'll be all right, Peter. No, listen. I think you'll qualify for one of the low interest loans. I brought the forms over. It's a bit hard to read them in the light. Oh, sure. So where are you leaving there, Peter? I'll have a look at them tomorrow. Right. Don't forget now. No, I won't. Actually, uh, I have a few bob coming myself. From what? I got the Forrester contract back. You didn't? Yeah. Did me first day at work today. How would you manage that? I asked for it. No sign of daily, so I'm not asking any questions. Yeah, you'll have no bother getting faith in them, so. Mm. Say not. No. I'd want to give him about a half pound a day from mid-February to the beginning of March. Then a pound a day up to Patrick's Day. Last two weeks up to Lemon, pound and a half. Last week of March, of course, you'd have him on the good grass. Yeah. Well, everything seems to be working out right in the end. Not too bad. Uh, how are things with yourself? Can't complain. How's the big day? June, I believe. After that, I'll be tied to the fireplace. <laughs> All the wild oats all, huh? That's it. <laughs> A lucky man, Peter. Well, don't I know it? She's a great girl. Of course, you have to know her. I'd say I know every thought in her head. She's very keen to learn new things. I'm sure you saw that. Oh, yeah, I, I did, yeah. She's very inquired in mind, she has. Yeah. Did she, uh, did she say about the day on the mountain? She did. To tell you the truth, Pat, she said it was all a bit dull. I'm afraid she's one girl the old charm doesn't seem to work with. <laughs> well, she can't win them all, Peter. No. I better move. I don't want to be late for her. Yeah, are you uh, meeting her tonight? Yeah. Uh, tell her I'll be asking for her, will you? I will, surely. Oh, by the way, Pat. Uh, I'll drop round in the morning and draw up the loan application. Seven, Peter. Yeah, good man. Right. Right. You heard all that, did you? Every word. So it was a bit dull, was it? Well, I had to say that. Look, I took notes for you. A half a pound of meals daily from mid February till mid March. What? You enjoyed that, didn't you? What? In there. Listen. Yes. You like taking chances, don't you? Yes. So do you. Why were you really at Christmas? Why do you ask? Peter asked you before and you didn't answer. Hmm. I thought you knew. Maybe I do. I know that on Christmas Eve you had dinner with Jill Daly. Didn't you? I thought you knew that already. Yes. But I didn't realize you'd stayed the night. Oh. Don't remember saying I did. 
I could understand it, of course. She's lovely. Oh, she is. It's a favorite fantasy for men, isn't it? Mother and daughter. You're pushing that look. I do it all the time. I told you. Yeah. I have to go now. I have a date. I'll come again soon. Any time. Hi, lads. You going to the pub this evening? No. Skint. What day is it, anyway? Um, Wednesday. Jesus. I could uh, give you a loan of a pound or two. Ah, it's all right, Miley. I've been hacking off already. I'll have to try and hang on. Bloody kid. It's not great. The sooner the better we finish this job. Come back home. Are you joking me? Well, you don't seem to like it much over here. There's work over here. Did you never work in Ireland? No. Got the boat the day I left school. Didn't give him much of a chance. Jeez, I couldn't wait to get out of the place. It wasn't the same with me, coming off the farm. I always had plenty of work. What brought you over, so? Ah, uh, bit of a road now, lad. The tonic get out. I often wonder how he's doing, how the farm is going. Here, give us a hand with this yoke. together. Maybe go on the wagon for a while. Head off someplace. Canada, maybe. Long over here. Ten years. Bloody kid. I fell right to you, mate. My feet up here. Stay with those friends of mine. Uh, you told me, Miley. Friends from home. They're looking after me, great. Jez, you should see my digs. Called it. <laughs> We're starting an escape committee, you know. I'm not joking you. Spam for tea every night. Army surplus. Well, I've no complaints like that, thank God. As your lucky man. Come on, Miley. No scabbing. Why don't you come back with me this evening? She made for me tea. Yeah. She'll give you great feed. Jeez, I can't just land in on her like that. No, she wouldn't mind a bit, honestly. Oh, I'd have to go back to the digs and clean up. Oh, sure, yeah. Great, right. great. Right. Look, uh, did you lend us that fiver you were talking about earlier? What fiver? No, I can't go back empty-handed. Shall I tell you about my life? I've got everything I need I would like more And there's no one I'd rather be Never ever drink and drive could you live with the shame? From the National Safety Council, supported by AXA Insurance. Advertising is about persuasion. So please, please, please drink Sprite. Please! Temperature, 45 degrees. Situation, critical. Priority, coolness under pressure. Solution, new Shure Ultra. 
Formulation, dry cream. Action, unbeatable dryness control. Result, cooler, fresher, drier. New Shure Ultra, our most effective antiperspirant. This summer... This is Principal Brickley. I want to inform you all that I have a fat, saggy butt. The characters from the number one children's show are hitting the big screen. Mom! Mom! Those guys at the school, they're doing some kind of evil experiment. You're feverish. I'll go get the baby thermometer and the petroleum jelly. <gasps> okay, that right there, that was messed up. They're saving the world one playground at a time. We're going in. Love, money, happiness. Discover your future now. Call Irish Psychics Live on 1580 23 23 23. 1580 23 23 23. I want to thank you for the forestry contract. Oh, I didn't have to do much. I just told Mick Smith that no one was to be prevented from working as a result of deals made by Ned in the past. So Mr. Daly doesn't know about it, then? No. No reason why he should. Thought I'd have seen more of you since Christmas. Well, I've had my hands full. Bringing the oars out in the mountain. Fixing the roof. Mm. And uh, getting started in the forest. You've been busy. I thought you might have been worried about calling in case people might talk. Cross my mind. It's one of the penalties of being on one's own. I've had friends in since Ned went away that uh, they don't say anything, of course, but you feel it. They look around as though everything has changed. I don't feel you do that. No. But then I don't miss him as much as other people might. Expect you don't. I'd like to pay you for your time. No. But I'm very grateful to you. Is there anything I can do to help? No. Oh, there is something. Remember I was telling you that uh, Diddy went off to England to oh. look for Miley? I remember. Well, he's in Manchester now. Did he find him? No. In fact, he's run short of cash. He could do the job. Well, I don't know what I, I remember could you do. telling me that Mr. Daly had a lot of contracts in uh, Manchester. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if he said the word, maybe didn't he get a start? Well, I suppose so, but I don't see how I can help. Well, if he calls, maybe you could mention it to him. All right. I just have the address here. The Good Shepherd Hostel? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll mention it to him if he gets in touch, but I wouldn't bank on him. Fair enough. Your friend Dinny seems very determined. There's more to him than I would have thought. Well, he never got out the soft, you know. I wonder if I should go off looking for Louise. Well, it'll be more pleasant trip than Dinny's. Yes. Ah, I think I'll stay where I am. She'll come home with the swallows. Yeah. Well, goodbye, Mrs. Dana. Goodbye, Pat. Tis Lily. You're late, aren't you, love? Uh, a bit. Uh, you heard me uh, talking about uh, Schooner and me mate on the job. Oh, aye. Uh, I brought him home. You what? Uh, first tea. He's out in the hall. Oh, my. Oh, you did. Well, I don't care if he hears oh, me. Lily, 
If you saw the digs he was in, you'd have brought him home yourself. Oh, well, Viola, you shouldn't do these things. But you like him. Come out and meet him. Well, he's just going to have to take us as he finds us. We're not putting ourselves out oh, for anybody. I can that's, tell you that. That's grand. Lily, this is Schooner. Schooner, this is Lily. Glad to meet you, Lily. A few sweets. We shouldn't have. Uh, I, I'll take those. Aye. Okay. Miley, I don't know what Schooner will think of us not offering him a drink. Do you like a beer before dinner? Well, I wouldn't refuse. Right, then. Here you are, my own. <coughs> you must excuse the place, Schooner. It's the kids. Oh, it's grand, Lily. Grand. A real home. Something, my old son. You've got it made. Yes, I have some sweet. Now, look, there's only two cups, so you have to share them out among yourself. Don't fight the bowels in there, or you'll have to just make do with them two packets. Yeah, Schooner, uh, this is me old mate, Christy. <laughs> uh, Schooner came for the tea. Oh, it's uh, very nice to meet you, Schooner. Uh, we've heard a lot about you from Miley, and a uh, great pleasure to have you. Oh, thanks, Christy. Thanks. Kids, come on now. Upstairs, get your homework done. Come on, we'll do what your mother says. Out. Chris, would you mind laying the table while I go and change? What do you want to change for? Oh, just do it, Chris. All right, fair. <laughs> Got to keep the women happy, what? <laughs> Dear Dinny, I got your letter, and I had to laugh when I saw your new address. With yourself a mile away, the Christmas and New Year were very quiet. She went up the mountain yesterday and brought down the yours. Some of yours are a bit scowly looking. But they're not too bad. There's not much pickings on your inside fields, but they're thriving well enough. You have to feed your bob with the subsidy money, so they should be all right. I'd say you'll be back yourself in time for the lambing. No word from Miley since he left London. I should hear any day now. I'll pass on his address to you as soon as I know it. But if you ever let on where you heard it from, I'll break your leg for you. Mind yourself. Pat. That's a, a very interesting name, that. Schooner. Would it be right in thinking now that it's an old Huguenot name? Well, Christy, I'm not too well up in these things, but... Uh, no, I don't think you're right. You see, my full name is Sean Stephen Cooney. Now, at school, that was S.S. Cooney. Didn't take long for the kids to come up with Schooner. Huh. Sort of stuck with me ever since. I, uh, well, that explains it. I, you know, I just thought it might have been a, a Huguenot name. Chris, can you come here a minute? Certainly, uh, Excuse me, take that. Hey, Miley. Hmm? Your friend there. Is he a bit of a chulo? What? A yo-yo. I don't know. He's a very straightforward sort of fella. The brother at home has most of the brains. <laughs> right. Here we are. So you come to the table? Well, that's a gorgeous frock you're wearing, Lily. If you don't mind my saying so. No girl ever minds a compliment. Right. You can come in now, Chris. God, that smells fantastic. You know something, Christy? You're a lucky man. Coming home every evening to a lovely little wife like this. Not to mention the grog, what? <laughs> Easy seeing where this came from. It's nothing really, just potluck. Chris, will you pass the good sprouts? Are you all right, Miley? Oh, smashing it. Oh, thanks, Christy. Uh, it's, it's, it's very good indeed, Lily. <clears throat> you forgot the beer. Tell you what we'll do. As soon as this meal is finished, me and Miley will do the washing up. Then we'll all go down to the green man for a few jars and a knees up. On Miley and me. What do you say, huh? Oh, I don't know that we can, Schooner. Can we, Chris? 
Uh, well, no, a bit difficult, you see. Uh, middle of the week with the kids and everything. Be nice. Oh, it ought to be nice, are they? Just not possible. No, you see, that's a schooner. It'll be, uh, it'll be nice, but not possible. Ah, fair enough, so. No problem. We'll make it Saturday. And I won't take no for an answer. Well, we'll see then. Oh, heck. What's the matter? I forgot the Yorkshire pud. Oh, well. I'll give you a hand. Uh, nice fella. Hello. I mean, I, I like a lad that, that mucks in without having to be asked. The extra hard chaw on the job, but that's no harm. In them. Oh, sure. Sure, anybody can see that. Come on, man! Come on, man! in 20 years. Oh, you, you, you don't forget how to sing. It's like riding a bike. Aida, do you remember the Navi boots? Ah, <laughs> shit's as good as any. <laughs> I'm a wild Irish Navi and I work on the line in a place in the north called Newcastle on Tyne. And the first of misfortune that e'er I have known was the night I walked out with, with me Navi boots on. <laughs> I was tired of driving and digging all day to a place on yon hillside I soon made me way. The night it was dark and no moonlight there shone as I walked up the hill with, with me Navi boots on. I knocked me love's window knocked it so low, I knocked it again, and my knock she didn't know. She crept from her bed, crying, is that my love, John? And I answered, yes, with me, I will talk. She crept from her slumbers for to let me in, and to her bedchamber I softly stole in. The night it was cold, and the fire was all gone. So I jumped in the bed with me neighbors I awoke the next morning with the sun in the skies. I said, my true love, it is time to arise. She said, oh, don't leave me, you know you've done wrong. For you slept here all night with your So the very same day to the church I was brought, a terrible sinner as everyone thought. I vowed on me far more bad actions to shun, and I married her there with me, Navi So come all you young maidens who intend to be wed, and pay close attention to all I have said. If your head be too weak and your heart be too strong, lie up to the land with your mommy Lovely place. Yes, I like it. Who switched that on? Oh, Mrs. Ross. Yes. You're going now. Yes, please. Good night, then. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night. Do you want to eat now? No, later. Drink, maybe. All right. What are you thinking? Not what you expected. No. 
You remember the old bedsit? Yeah. And you expected the same? <laughs> I suppose so. Do you remember that night you came into the pub? Christmas Eve, wasn't it? You were surprised that I was still there. Nothing had changed, you said. But of course it had. I don't just work in the pub now, Ned. I own it. I married John. He died ten years ago. Well, you can't have a more concise biography than that. Why didn't you tell me all this before? You didn't ask. You assumed that I'd stood still. You wanted me not to have changed. Didn't you? Well, why didn't you let me come up here before? You had to sing for it. Oh, for God's sake, Liz. See, I've got used to the name. I've got used to the rest. There are lots of reasons. I've got two boys. They're at boarding school, but they were here for Christmas holidays. What age are they? Ben's 14. Joey's 12. They wouldn't remember their father. Not much. So they'd have no objection to their mother having friends? No. So what was the real reason? I take longer to make decisions nowadays. There's been no one since John. I find that strange. It's the job. You get so accustomed to propositions, men and the loose, you get to a point where you can't believe there's anything else. Well, that's the way you felt about me. Of course not. Well, what was the matter then? I didn't want you to see the way I lived. Why? I didn't want to frighten you off. It seemed to me that you were just the same as you were when I met you first, and I'd moved so far away from that. Do you understand? <laughs> yes. Well, then I began to wonder. Well, I'm moving on a bit too, you know. Yes, those aren't exactly navvy boots you're wearing. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Two of us at the same game. Tell the truth, I was a bit insulted when you said that I hadn't changed. <laughs> Still the same old Dowser Daily. Your house yeah. and your wife. Yeah, so you see, I've moved on a bit too. She's beautiful. You've even got a lake. It's all over, Liz. Clothes chopped up. And a swan. Oh, a swan. <sighs> that was never the life for me. Could never settle to it, Liz, so I left it behind me. This is the first time I've seen you outside the crown. You're a different person. It's the job. I have a role to play. I'm never going back, Liz. Never say never. What did you think of? School? Aye. Yeah, seemed a decent fella. Bit rough and ready. I felt really sorry for him going back to those terrible lodgings. That's right. How do you know they're terrible? Well, you can imagine. Nice if he could stay here. Oh, no chance. Nice for Molly, too. She probably would get the room. Oh, I know. It's just a thought. Might he go up? Mm. He wants to write a letter. He's settled in well. Well, it's a home from home for him, isn't it? <laughs> it is. You know the spade of hands out in the garage getting damp? Yeah, what about it? Well, we could put that in Miley's room and make a chair. He mightn't want to share. Oh, he said he wouldn't mind. It'd be too much for you, Lily. Oh, no, it wouldn't make that much difference. No, look, I'm, I'm sorry, Lily. We're, we're not taking anyone else, and that's fine. Lily. Chris! Oh, look at Chris. Dear Pat, I'm sorry for taking so long to write. As you can see, I'm stopping with Christy and Lily in Stockport and they're looking after me great. It's very cold here, a different sort of cold from home. Like today, there was a light fall of snow and it turned into a black slush the minute it hit the ground. It started me wondering if there's any snow yet on the mountain.
morning, Miley. Good oh, morning. What's all the bags for? Did Lily not tell you? No. I'm moving in. London at nach min suler billehan. De dune shahagen ek khudnamet ichet heshide er brecken. Mm -hmm. 